So welcome you all to IIT Paul program. Uh, myself Punyamurthy from uh, Department of Chemistry IIT Gauhati. Uh, today we will study about the part 2 about alkenes. In the last class we have seen the part 1 of alkenes and uh, structure, nomenclature, isomerism, preparation and physical properties of alkenes. Today we will study about the chemical properties of alkenes. Alkenes are rich source of having uh, bi electrons. Therefore, they undergo addition reactions, the electrophiles to give the corresponding addition products. So, today we are going to look at some of the common reactions. The addition of hydrogen addition of halogen addition of hydrogen halide addition of sulfuric acid addition of water oxidation reaction so there will be two types of reactions we will study oxidation of alkenes to diols and carboxylic acids then uh, dicarbonyl compounds like aldehydes ketones that is ozonolysis At the end, we will study about the polymerization. These are very important reactions and let us now focus on the addition of hydrogen. As we have seen uh, the beginning of the hydrogenation of alkenes to alkanes, and uh, so, alkenes can readily can be converted into alkanes using one equivalent of hydrogen. For example, if we have here ethylene, and when you treat ethylene with hydrogen, one molecule of hydrogen. In the presence of catalysts like palladium, platinum and nickel, the hydrogen can undergo addition to the alkene you get alkane. If you look at the reaction as I mentioned earlier, the reaction is stereo specific. The both hydrogen atoms come the same side of the alkene, it can be the bottom side or top side. This in addition takes place and in this reaction as I mentioned earlier, what happens? You have the metal surface, the metal surface the hydrogen is absorbed first. Then your alkene also absorbed and the metal surface by you have the carbon carbon double bond there will be interaction between the bi bond and your metal. Now once
For example, when you pass hydrogen, the hydrogen will be, will be absorbed in the surface of the metal and when you add alkene, the alkene now it can also absorb, it can interact with your metal. You have the alkene here. Now, the hydrogen, whatever absorbed from the metal surface, can be transferred to the alkene. You will get the metal alkyl intermediate. You have this kind of intermediate. Now, another hydrogen, when uh, since if the reaction is carried out in the present hydrogen pressure, another hydrogen can bind here, this hydrogen can transport again, you will get your alkane. This, the both hydrogens are added to the same side of the alkene, the reaction is uh, syn addition reaction stereo specific. So, when you have two different substituents, the reaction of course, you will get the selective uh, addition product. So, the next example is addition to halogen. It is a electrophilic addition reactions and like uh, when you have the alkene, for example, ethylene, when you react ethylene with for example, Br 2 or chlorine under this uh, no, iodine does not undergo addition with alkene normal conditions. However, bromine readily undergo reactions in the presence of in CCl 4 when you carry out the reaction, the bromine undergoes addition to give the vicinal dibromo compound. And similarly, chlorine also can be added. you get 1 to digalo alkanes. So, in this reactions, if you uh, regarding the mechanism, let us see the bromination uh, reaction. Alkane the double bond attacks the bromine you get bromium intermediate. So, this bromium ion intermediate undergoes reaction with this Br minus, that is a nucleophile, it attacks this, uh, it can attack this carbon or that carbon. Suppose, if it reacts here, this anti to this bromine, you will get this 1 to tie yellow alkanes. So, if you look at this compound, this also stereo specific reaction, this addition of the bromine takes place and the uh, addition. If you look at it and this is uh, just opposite to this bromine, you get this uh, and the addition product. Suppose, if you react with this alkene, trans to butene with the bromine, you will get this dibromo 2, 3 dibromo butane. On the other hand, if you have this cis 2 butene, it can lead to mixture of enantiomers you 
you will study uh, the stereochemistry of these reactions in our um, in higher class. Now, it depends upon the substrate. When you have this kind of um, substrate, then you can get um, stereoisomers. You can get enantiomer in this case. Of course, in this case, you will get um, a compound which has uh, a planar symmetry and it is a meso compound. Uh, we will study in details uh, in, the near, in the higher class. The next reaction is addition of hydrogen catalytes to alkenes. This also uh, electrophilic addition reaction just we have seen uh, the addition of uh, bromine to alkene is an example for electrophilic addition reaction. And um, in this case, the reactivity of alkyl halides is hydrogen iodide is more reactive compared to HBr. HBr is more reactive comparing to HCl. This is the reactivity order of hydrogen halides towards alkenes. Now, let us take HBr. If you take, uh, if you react with symmetrical alkenes, So, you will get 2 bromobutane. Other hand, if you take unsymmetrical alkanes, alkenes, for example, propene, when you react with the propene, with HBr. So, you will end up with mixture of compounds. There is a possibility of formation of these two compounds and however, in this case, uh, this will be the major compound this will be a minor product. So, let us see the mechanism of the reaction we can understand. So, I mentioned this is an example for electrophilic addition reaction. So, the alkene reacts with the HBr to generate the carbocation intermediate. So, this carbocation intermediate reacts with the bromine Br minus the addition product. So, if alternatively it can also form a primary carbocation So, in this case if the, the carbocation reacts with the VR minus. You get the primary uh, alkyl halide. 
So there is a possibility of formation of both these carbocations. However, the secondary carbocation is more stable comparing to the primary carbocation. So the formation of this predominant in this case, therefore, and we get this as a major product. This because we will study in the higher class again that when you have the more substituted carbocation, for example, tertiary carbocation or secondary carbocation, they are more stabilized by hybrid conjugation as well as inductive effect. And this, therefore, this more stable, the concentration of this formation of this carbocation is higher than this. Therefore, we get this as a major compound. So, during 19, 1863, um, the Russian scientist is called Markovnikov. He studied uh, a reaction of a series of experiments with this substrate. He found that, he observed that, and so the electrophilic addition reactions like um, addition of hydrogen halide to alkenes and always um, the B or minus, the negative ion species undergoes addition to the carbon which has less hydrogen atoms. And in this case, if you look at it, this has the one hydrogen atoms, therefore the B or minus undergoes addition here and you get this the major compound. This we call it as it follows the Marganica rule product. So, it depends upon the reaction conditions and alkenes can undergo addition with the hydrogen halides. For example, hydrogen bromide to give the um, uh, more substituted uh, alkyl bromide. On the other hand, if the reaction is carried out in the presence of uh, like peroxides, you get the opposite uh, addition product, otherwise regioisomer. And let us look at this uh, reaction. When you react with propene, with hydrogen bromide, the presence of peroxide you get a mixture of compounds, this is a major product, this is minor product. Just we have seen the case of electrophilic addition reaction, the always this is the major product. However, when you carry out the reaction in the presence of peroxide, uh, this is going to be the major product, this is going to be minor product. This is called anti Markovnikov product. And in this reaction, particularly when you carry out the reaction in the presence of peroxide, you get uh, this as a major product. Now, let us look at the mechanism. In this case, what happens? The peroxide, let us take. Benzoyl peroxide. When you heat the reaction, the, uh, the peroxide can undergo homolysis. The presence of light also, it can undergo homolysis to give uh, radicals. So, this can lose carbon dioxide. you get phenyl radical, two molecule of phenyl radical. Once you form this radical, this radical can react with your HBr.
can lead to the formation of benzene and Br radical. This Br radical now can undergo addition to the alkene. And then on the other hand, you can also undergo addition with this carbon, then you will get the primary radical. If, uh, if you look at these two radicals, as just we have seen, when you have the secondary carbocation is more stable compared to the primary carbocation because it can be stabilized by hyperconjugation, same thing here also. And this secondary radical is more stable comparing to the primary one. So, the formation of this radical will be more comparing to that. Once you form this radical, this radical can now react with another HBr. So, this can abstract the hydrogen atom. So, you will get alkyl halide, primary alkyl halide and similarly this can react with HBr, you can abstract the hydrogen atom. So, you will get in this case secondary alkyl halide. So, whenever you carry out the reaction in the presence of peroxide, therefore, we get this primary alkyl halide as a major compound because the formation of the secondary radical in this case and you get this a major compound. This is uh, called anti uh, marconico product. Uh, this was uh, discovered by uh, Harash and Mayo. During 1933, they have discovered uh, this addition of hydrogen halide to alkenes in the presence of peroxides. The, they found that when the reaction is carried out in the presence of peroxide, always the primary alkyl halide is formed as a major product. And however, if you look at these two um, addition of uh, hydrogen halides to alkenes, the previous case, uh, the electrophilic addition reactions and hydrogen iodide, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen bromide all can be added to alkenes, but in this case under peroxide conditions only hydrogen bromide undergoes addition to alkene and the hydrogen uh, uh, HCl does not react under these conditions, the bond is strong. And in the case of hydrogen iodide and what happens when you generate the I radical, this two I radical combine together you convert into I 2. Therefore, this reaction particularly uh, the addition of hydrogen halide, hydrogen bromide uh, works very well with alkene, the presence of peroxide, HCl and HI do not work um, under these conditions. So far we have seen uh, three types of uh, three reactions. Uh, first uh, addition of hydrogen we have seen uh, is a stereo specific addition reaction. Then we have seen uh, the addition of halogen, it is a electrophilic addition reaction. Following that, we have seen the addition of hydrogen halide to um, alkenes. First, we have seen the electrophilic addition reactions. Later, we have seen the radical uh, pa, uh, reactions where hydrogen bromide undergoes uh, addition to alkenes to give the uh, primary uh, alkyl bromides. Now, let us look at the uh, addition of uh, sulfuric acid to uh, alkenes to give alkyl sulfates. Let us take propene as an example. When you treat propene with a cold sulfuric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid,
cold conditions in undergoes addition to give and secondary alkyl sulfate as the major product uh, in this reaction. This reaction also involves electrophilic addition reaction and in this case what happens if you look at the mechanism as we have seen earlier. The double bond attach this one you form a more stable secondary carbocation this carbocation reacts with to give the corresponding alkyl sulphide. This is also an example for electrophilic addition reaction and this carbocation is a planar molecule right. This, uh, uh, this can the sulphate uh, this uh, SO4 uh, H minus can undergo addition to the top side or bottom side of the uh, carbocation, but you will get the secondary alkyl sulphate. The next example is addition of water. Alkene can undergo addition to water in the presence of a few drops of sulfuric acid to give secondary alcohol. Let us take this unsymmetrical alkene. When you treat this alkene with water in the presence of few drops of sulfuric acid, it undergoes hydration to give secondary alcohol. is the major product. This is also an example for electrophilic addition reaction. Regarding the mechanism, you form Octonium intermediate and uh, this undergoes reaction with our alkene So, you generate the carbocation as we have seen earlier. This carbocation now undergoes addition with your water, so nucleophile.
this can remove proton you get secondary alcohol the next example is oxidation reaction so we are going to look at it two types of oxidation reactions first the oxidation of alkenes to diol using uh, potassium permanganate when you treat alkene with aqueous dilute cold permanganate and uh, a room uh, zero degree this alkene can undergo oxidation to the corresponding diol vicinal diol in this case the hydrogen or the OH group comes to the same side of uh, the alkene this is a synergy addition reaction and the reaction conditions is very important you have to um, carry out the reaction mild reaction conditions using a uh, uh, aqueous uh, dilute uh, kmno4 and uh, cold reaction conditions then you can partially oxidize the alkenes to diol on the other hand if you oxidize the alkene using acidic KMnO4 or potassium digromate under um, heating conditions, this uh, alkene can be further oxidized into carboxylic acid. Uh, depends on the substrate. In this case and it will be oxidized to acetic acid and um, carbon dioxide and it depends upon the reaction conditions if acidic there will be over oxidized to carboxylic acid if uh, you carry out the reaction under uh, mild reaction cold if you use uh, uh, zero degree temperature and very dilute uh, potassium permanganate you can try to stop uh, the oxidation reaction in the diol stage on the other hand if you use strong oxidizing agent like uh, acidic KMnO4 and, and warmer conditions and then it can undergo further oxidation into the corresponding um, carboxylic acid and it depends upon the substrate. For example, if you use this one, you get acetic acid and carbon dioxide and if you use this alkene, you apply this reaction conditions you get here ketone you get acetone plus acetic acid it depends upon the substrate and you will get ketone or carboxylic acid or carbon dioxide So, you will study the mechanism of this reaction uh, in our higher studies in detail, but what happens basically in these reactions and this alkene, let us take for example, this ethylene and what happens it undergoes addition with your KMnO4. So, KMnO4 plus 7 state and what happens this alkene undergoes addition this electron comes to the manganese and this undergoes addition with this carbon and basically it is a cyclo addition 2 plus 3 cyclo addition reaction you will get a cyclic intermediate first it forms this cyclic intermediate and it depends upon the reaction conditions if very uh, if you use dilute 
aqueous KMnO4 and cold conditions and this what happens it undergoes hydrolysis you get the diol. On the other hand if you use um, acidic uh, potassium permanganate or digromate it undergoes cleavage you get aldehyde you get aldehyde that aldehyde further reacts with water you have uh, in aqueous medium you have water it can form and it further can be oxidized in carboxylic acids. Yes. This is what happens here and it depends upon the substates and the reaction conditions you can uh, try to selectively convert into cis diol or the corresponding carboxylic acids. The next example is ozonolysis. Alkenes can be readily converted into all the eight ketones or carboxylic acid using ozone and in this reaction ozone undergoes addition with this alkene and forms first let me write the product in this case you will get the dialdehydes. and acetaldehyde and uh, formaldehyde and uh, if you look at the mechanism the alkene undergoes addition with ozone let us take ethylene in the undergoes cycle addition to give One comma, one comma three cycle addition reaction uh, this is not stable intermediate it undergoes cleavage you can call this uh, retiro 1 3 cycle addition reaction you will have carbonyl oxide and a carbonyl group have this can further undergo cycle addition reaction
this is called ozonoid. So the addition of ozone with alkene forms this gives this uh, intermediate ozonoid. Once we have this one depends upon the um, uh, reaction conditions. For example, if you use zinc in water, it can be converted into two molecule of formaldehyde. On the other hand, if you treat with oxidizing agent like uh, such as hydrogen peroxide, it will be oxidized into formic acid. So, it depends upon suppose if I take ethylene, I will uh, get uh, two molecules of uh, formaldehyde. On the other hand, this is the mechanism of uh, the ozonolysis. It undergoes 1, 3 comma cycle addition and once if you form this intermediate, it again undergoes a retrocycle addition reaction to give this carbonyl group and the carbon, carbonyl oxy, uh, oxide species which undergoes further reaction to give this ozonide. This ozonide when you treat with uh, zinc water is converted into the corresponding aldehyde. And instead of ethylene, if you take other alkenes, for example, Unsymmetrical alkenes like propene, when you treat propene with ozone and the presence of uh, you will get Uh, this intermediate addition of ozone with this propene can give uh, uh, this intermediate. When you treat this intermediate with the zinc, you will get acetaldehyde and formaldehyde. Similarly, when you react this substituted alkene, for example, this one, when you treat with uh, ozone and followed by zinc, In this case, you will get uh, a stone and formaldehyde. It is a cleavage, oxidative cleavage reaction. You can uh, selectively get uh, the ketone and aldehyde. It depends upon the substrates, you will get the carbonyl compounds. The uh, next example uh, reaction is polymerization. So, all of us know and uh, so the polythene bags and uh, plastic containers like quiz bottles as well as uh, TV and uh, computer ca cabins all are made up of polymers. The one of the common uh, polymers for example, the polythene bags you know that polythene is made from polyethylene polymer and uh, for example, when you have uh, ethylene and uh, using a uh, catalyst high pressure and temperature these three are very important and this uh, alkene 
uh, ethylene can be converted into a bigger molecule. This uh, one molecule is called monomer, and when you have, uh, uh, they can react together and uh, particular uh, conditions, high temperature and pressure and catalyst, and give the bigger polymer. So we write like this. So this is called the polymer. This is uh, uh, the material to make uh, polythene bags and quiz bottles and uh, so on. And if you look at uh, 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 so, uh, the industries and they produce about 80 million tons. Tons of uh, polyethylene per year uh, we use and of course, uh, is not uh, biodegradable polymer, but still we use and uh, yearly they produce about 8 million tons of uh, polyethylene for various uh, applications. And similarly, when you go for further, uh, propene. Propene also can, can be converted into polypropylene and uh, under high pressure. temperature and catalyst. can produce, uh, the, this uh, polypropylene is produced about uh, 50 million tons. Per year and uh, say a polypropylene uh, for example, bucket we use as a material and uh, these are widely used and for uh, various applications, uh, plastics. And if this is the highest uh, uh, polymer and uh, polyethylene based materials produce about 8 million tons per year and uh, this is the second uh, uh, largest uh, uh, polymer is produced about 50 million tons per year and we use for various applications. And uh, let us conclude, today what we have seen, the chemical properties of alkenes, we have seen uh, 8 uh, type of uh, reactions. Uh, first, what we have seen, we have seen um, the addition of hydrogen and that to alkenes that can lead to alkanes is a stereospecific reaction, syn addition reaction. Then we have seen addition of halogen. Uh, uh, you can, um, uh, so iodine does not undergo addition with uh, alkenes, however, uh, chlorine and bromine can undergo addition with uh, alkenes and you get vicinal dihalo compounds. Um, we also use uh, this to check whether the compound has uh, uh, alkene or not. This, when the compound have double bond, they are called unsaturated compound. Uh, this one of the test to check whether your compound is saturated alkene or unsaturated compound alkene. And uh, what we do when we treat this uh, compound with uh, uh, bromine, bromine is a um, uh, reddish orange liquid and when you dissolve this compound uh, in a, uh, tet a carbon tetrachloride add bromine, if the color goes, we tell that the compound is unsaturated. This is one of the classical tests we use whether uh, uh, to check whether the compound is saturated, unsaturated by adding bromine. And what happens uh, when you add bromine or chlorine and carbon tetrachloride, they can readily undergo addition reaction with alkene to give vicinal dihalides, it is an example for electrophilic addition reaction. Next, we have seen addition of hydrogen bromide to uh, hydrogen iodide, hydrogen chloride also can be added to alkene to give the uh, secondary or more, uh, uh, more substituted alkyl halides. And this also an example for electrophilic addition reaction. By taking uh, hydrogen bromide, we have seen and you can form. Uh, there is um, uh, the more substituted uh, bromo compound as a major product using electrophilic addition reaction 
and this because of uh, you generate a more stable carbocation uh, as intermediate that undergoes reaction with Br minus to generate the uh, alkyl halide. And um, so, uh, the reactivity of these halides so hydrogen bromide iodide is more reactive comparing to a hydrogen bromide, hydrogen bromide is more reactive comparing to hydrogen uh, chloride. The, then we have seen um, uh, the peroxide effect in the uh, hydrogen bromide addition reactions and under this condition only hydrogen bromide undergoes addition with alkene to give a primary alkyl bromide and uh, under this uh, hydrogen chloride and as well as hydrogen iodide do not react uh, with alkenes in the presence of peroxide and in the case of hydrogen uh, chloride is very difficult to cleave the bond uh, stronger than HBr bond. And in the case of hydrogen iodide that iodine uh, radical undergoes uh, dimerization uh, can react with another iodine radical you get the iodine. And however, hydrogen bromide can be added to um, alkene to give the primary um, alkyl bromide. Uh, in this case what happens you generate the radical uh, intermediate. First uh, hydrogen bro uh, the bromide radical undergoes addition with your alkene you generate the secondary radical that is more stable comparing to the primary radical therefore, that secondary radical undergoes a uh, reaction uh, with uh, uh, even HBr to give the primary alkyl halide. Uh, this is called peroxide effect this was discovered by uh, Professor Harash and Mayo uh, in 1933 in Chicago University and the, this is called the peroxide effect and basically you get anti marconico product. In the case of electrophilic addition reaction always you get the marganico product that the more stable carbocation give the undergoes reaction with the um, negative part of this electro uh, reagent. Then we have seen uh, how you can convert alkene to alkyl sulphate in this case also the product is formed according to marganico addition uh, uh, rule because the electrophilic addition reaction you generate the carbocation that undergoes reaction you give the um, alkyl sulphate you get the secondary uh, uh, alkyl sulphate as a major product. Then we have seen addition of water uh, to alkene uh, where you can make secondary alcohol um, under this condition what you have to do you have to treat with water in the presence of few drops of uh, um, uh, sulfuric acid the reaction takes place quite nicely you get the secondary alcohol. And then we have seen uh, uh, the oxidation, oxidation using uh, potassium permanganate uh, depends upon the reaction conditions you can uh, selectively oxidize alkene to diol. Uh, syn addition basically both OH group comes the same side of the alkene and whatever we have seen all are very uh, simple substrates. When you take uh, for example, cyclohexene then you can understand and you can get uh, syn addition product you get the diol the same side if you use aqueous dilute um, cold k 4 at uh, 0 degree you get the um, diol product 1 to diol product. And the, on the other hand if you use uh, slightly stronger uh, reagent con reaction conditions like acidic uh, potassium permanganate or dichromate and then it can undergo further oxidation uh, to give um, aldehyde that aldehyde can be further oxidized to carboxylic acid. Basically you get um, uh, carboxylic acid the product in this case the potassium permanganate is reduced to uh, manganese dioxide as a byproduct. of course the mechanism you will study in the higher class. And then we have seen ozonolysis this is a very um, uh, good experiment to uh, cleave the carbon carbon double bond to aldehydes or ketones or uh, then um, you can use uh, when you uh, the ozone undergoes addition with the alkene through 1 3 um, uh, cyclo addition reaction to give the ozonide intermediate. That ozonide when you do work up with the zinc or hydrogen sulphide they undergoes cleavage to give the corresponding aldehyde or ketones uh, depends upon the reaction conditions. If you use uh, of course oxidizing agent like hydrogen peroxide it also can be oxidized further. Uh, into um, carboxylic acid. On the other hand, if you use a reducing agent such as sodium borohydride, the aldehyde also can be reduced to alcohol. Depends upon the reaction conditions and you can convert the alkene, um, you can uh, cleave then you can also further convert into um, uh, redu uh, alcohol or aldehyde, ketone or carboxylic acids depend depends upon the workup procedure. At the end we have seen polymerization how you can uh, 
um, the alkenes can be converted into bigger molecule. This, uh, the ethylene can be uh, coupled together, you make a bigger molecule that is polymer, we use as uh, like uh, make very important commercial applications like plastic bags, uh, containers, bottles, as well as the um, uh, computer and TV cabinets and so on. We use and of course, we use for plastic purpose and uh, so mostly polyethylene is about, uh, just I mentioned about 80 million tons are produced annually in the world. And similarly, polypropylene is the second largest uh, polymer is produced and that also we use for various applications. And similarly, other alkenes also can or converted into uh, polymers, we, they find wide applications. And these um, all uh, polymers are made using different triage conditions and higher temperature, pressure and catalyst. These are very important to get the polymer appropriate length and the particular stereochemistry also. The polyethylene is okay, but when you go for uh, the other alkenes, the stereochemistry also very important. They can be controlled using appropriate reaction conditions. And um, with this, I conclude today's lecture.